Today is November 29th, Sunday. I'm on my way now to go walk the dogs. It's around 9 a.m. I walked them this morning at 7, but now I have to walk them again. Tex is crying. So I'm going to walk them. They ate their breakfast already. Not so much Teddy, but I closed these shades yesterday because I got kind of nervous being here. But David ended up coming, so I'm just going to open them back up. Let's let the babies out. Good morning, you guys. So I just got back from the walk. And now I'm just hanging out. I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. I'm kind of hungry, but I haven't taken any of my supplements either. So I'm gonna do that first. I will forever love this view. We got text, we got Teddy. Molly's in her crate, just chilling. Okay, I don't know what to do now. I'm gonna go take my supplements. I probably should be editing. I gotta edit. I don't know what I'm doing. Slacking, that's what I'm doing. I'm making breakfast. just editing still and I'm gonna take them out in about four hours and Alright you guys, so I made lunch. I just made the same salad that I've been making for the past two days, but this time I added avocado. So, I'm very excited to eat this because I'm so hungry. I just need some water. Going in with the same dressing that I've been using. I try to make it really hefty and big because I'm going to be out for like the next three hours. I'm going back home for a little bit because I need to work on schoolwork. Oh my goodness. For those who are wondering, why don't I just do it here? I asked for the Wi Fi code, but she sent me the wrong one and I had asked her to clarify it, but she never did. So now I'm stuck going home and working it, working on it over there. And hopefully I don't forget my laptop because I need it. My bad. I didn't even realize I was still filming. <laughs> I got caught up in a. Uh, Love Island. Right now they're in Casa Amor, which is like a challenge where the boys and the girls separate. The girls are in Casa Amor this time. And um, they get to basically either stay with the girls that they're with or the guys or choose a new couple. This one's the intense one. Oh. So right now I'm going to wrap up, head out for about three hours, and then I'll be back. I hate having to drive back home. It's like the worst. 
Mm. So yeah, I'll be back. Hey you guys, so I'm back. It's around six-ish. Uh, it's still Sunday. So basically, I decided that I wanted to do a, hold on, let me see if I have a nice angle for you guys. So basically, I wanted to do a nighttime skin routine with you guys. I got asked this question a long time ago and I'm finally coming around to doing the video. But first, I'm gonna take a shower and then we're going to do this together. I'm gonna put on my PJs. I don't think I brought my cute ones though. I don't think I did. I've legit eaten three of these already. Right now, I have popcorn in the microwave, which I usually do not do, because I don't like that. But today, I'm just craving sweets, and lots of them. I wanted to stop at CVS on the way here, but there was none, so I didn't end up going. Just burning. Oh, I burnt it. I burnt it. I burnt the pop. Ow, it's burning me. Okay. I burnt the popcorn. Thank God I caught that in time because I would have been screwed. Last time that that actually just brought me back to a memory of when I was babysitting these kids um, a couple years back. I put a bag of popcorn in the microwave. Ooh. So I put a bag of popcorn in the microwave, but I didn't remember that the popcorn was a small serving bag like this one is. And I ended up putting it for a regular time. So, um, so I burnt that one. And then at the house, the bag almost caught on fire. It like smoked. So, I don't know. I think I'm gonna put it on regular popcorn and then just listen to it and see if it works. Popcorn. Start. I think two minutes is good. So yeah, so basically I'm just being fat. Um, I'm getting my period in like three days, so I guess my body really wants sweets. I usually don't crave for sweets like that, but tonight I was like, dude, we want like chocolate covered pretzels, we want some um, caramel popcorn, we want some um, wine, but that didn't happen tonight. So I might end up getting that tomorrow to really enjoy my last day here with the kiddos and then yeah so tomorrow I gotta wake up again probably at 7 a.m. like I've been doing for the past three days um, take them out back and then I get to sleep for another two hours and then feed them walk them then walk them again before I leave to work because then I have to go to Brody and go to Chloe back to a regular schedule November is going to be over I think tomorrow What are you doing, sir? What are you doing, sir? Hmm? What? You're being a good boy. Yeah, you're being a good boy. <laughs> okay, so the popping is slowing down. Ooh. So the, let's see. Eat, 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 eat. Nope, I didn't pop. I didn't overcook this one. Beautiful. All right, so now it's popcorn and Love Island. <laughs> what up? What happened, Dad? So basically right now, I'm just in the room hanging out. I uh, was gonna sit and edit. I finished my bag of popcorn. I watched a little bit more of Love Island, um, and then I caught myself scrolling online as usual. Right now I feel kind of lonely. I don't know what to do with myself, even though I have the three dogs here with me um, that keep barking and it makes me nervous, you know, me being here by myself. What happened, Teddy? Come. Come on. Ooh. 
maybe one should come on the bed though. I gotta take him in a walk in 30 minutes and then it'll be bedtime. No, no Licky, you be you be you be doing some nasty stuff. Um so yeah, I just wanted to like update you guys. It's 8 30 now. So I think I'm just gonna sit here and edit. And then um, I filmed the skincare routine video, my nighttime skincare routine. So I'm glad that I got that finished and done with. So I think I'm just going to sit and edit before I got to go walk the babies. And then I'm going to go to sleep early today because I got to wake up early for them tomorrow. So, yeah. Monday, November 30th. Today I woke up terrible. The entire night tossed and turned. I don't know what the heck happened or what was up. Could it have been all those sweets? Could it have been me scrolling on the internet for an hour? Um, for the past two nights, I've had dreams about pregnancy. The first one is was of me delivering and like weird. And then the, today, or last night's dream was about somebody I know who gave birth. And um, yeah, that shit was weird. Shit, shit's weird. Oh, I woke up today at 7.42, even though technically I was freaking awake the entire night, tossing and turning. Um, oh, God bless. So, what I want to do is take a shower and get ready now. I have to be at work at 1 o'clock. I think I'm going to text Deborah to find out if she needs me to come for Brody. Because I don't want to show up early and then I don't. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm eating for breakfast. I was supposed to um, wait for Dave. <clears throat> Did I take my... I didn't take my Vitek. Okay, so basically... Breakfast, I'm eating oatmeal. This is two packs of oatmeal with almond milk. I was supposed to, I think, call David because we were supposed to go to breakfast, but I can't wait. Especially on his timing. It's about to be 9 a.m. So, I'm eating. And I'm watching Love Island. Mm -hmm. All right. Took the dogs for a walk. Now, I need to do this hair. What the hell am I going to do? The hair is looking really nice, though. Really nice. Like, it's, for the most part, really contained. Let me open this up. Put some natural light in here. Ooh, natural light, baby. Um, yeah, look at it. It's nice and um, held together. It's not frizzy. It's not like all over the place. It's very manageable. I think I'm just gonna like brush the front. Oh, it's a little crusty in the back though. Get some oil in there. Okay. I think I'm gonna put my hair in a bun today. I don't wanna deal. I don't wanna deal. You know, for Christmas this year, I'm asking for like two things. I really want perfume. I love perfume, but I never buy it because it's so expensive. I need tires for my car. This is what I'm asking for Dave, from David. And um, I want a gun. For Christmas, I want a gun. Because, you know, I travel to these houses and a lot of time, you know, I stay on my own and I get really paranoid. Like if somebody were to break in, what would I do to protect myself? I don't got shit. I would be scared shitless. Really shitless. I'd probably let them come kill me. Or whatever it is that they have to do. <laughs> that sounds terrible. But it's the truth. Okay. Hair done. Let me go do my makeup. So here's my finished makeup look. I literally forgot eyeliner. I forgot my setting stuff for my eyes. That I usually uh, set my eye primer with. Um... What else did I forget? I don't know, but this is what my makeup look looks like. I used the new, um, it's not new, but it's new into my collection, the Vizier, the Vizar palette. Vizar, Vizar, Vizar. 
I uh, love it. Absolutely love it. I love the way how it blended out. It's very pigmented. There's not that much kick up in the palette, um, but I think it is pretty expensive. I'm not sure. I have to really look it up. But if you have a BoxyCharm account, you can get it for like 24 bucks. I think it was. I don't know, but it's super good. Um, overall, I think I like the way how my makeup came out. I need to redo my baby here, so. Oh, and I also used the Pretty Vulgar uh, Nesting Bitch Face Palette. I like it so far. I think that my face was kind of too oily when I went to apply it on my face. But I think that it worked really nicely. I like the color of it. How it blends with my skin tone really nicely and yeah this is my finished makeup look so that is that i'm gonna go edit now because i have a video that i should be putting out today and hopefully i get it done weirdos okay so it is 12.04 i'm about to make some lunch then at 12 30 i gotta walk the pups so i'm making some chicken strips gonna put this in the air fryer i think i'm gonna just make two These are literally the best chicken strips I've ever had ever in my life at the grocery store. All right, so while those are cooking, I'm going to make a salad, of course. What's new? The parents come home tomorrow, so super happy. I've been doing a really good job at eating salad every day, so very proud of myself. So I ended up spending $50 at the grocery store um, on Friday night, which is actually really good because it's lasted me a very long time. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And I still have dinner, lunch and dinner for the next two days. I just have some Polynesian sauce with my tenders. So, all right, bon appetit, right? Hey, you guys, I'm on my way now to go to work. I gotta go to Brody, then I gotta go to Chloe, then I gotta go do my nanny stuff. <sighs> you know, adulting on a freaking Monday, so much fun. Uh, so, I arrived to work early, 15 minutes to go walk Brody, and turns out that somebody's there but that was my fault for not texting mom and being like hey just want to make sure that um you need me to come walk brody today instead of me wasting my time coming early but i didn't text her so now i'm stuck here waiting for 15 minutes until i have to go in to go see chloe but but um, where am I call her daddy fans at? I'm really curious to know who listens to call her daddy. Um, if you've been like an, like an OG, I consider myself an OG because I've been listening since, I went back and listened to day one. I've been a, a daddy gang for almost two years now, right? 2018, 1920, yeah, two years. And um, I, it's been two years. So basically I was back when Sophia was on her podcast and uh, she ended up leaving Call Her Daddy and did her own podcast, which I did take time to listen to the first episode and it was whack, whack. Like that did not even seem like her personality. Like she just seemed like she was trying to be somebody else that she's not, just like not with it. But I also listened to Horrible Decisions, which again, I'm a Horrible Decisions fan as well. I went back and listened to episode one from when I started it and um, Weezy's my favorite. And uh, yeah, so basically today, as I was 
you know, scrolling through Instagram, I saw that Sophia Franklin is on call is on um, horrible decisions, and I'm like, oh, this fraud did not just make it on. Why did they even let? Why? Why? Why did they even put her on there? I, I'm not a fan of her. I'm not a fan. You know why? Because I can't stand women who allow men to contradict and make decisions or help make decisions or like, you know, run the fucking show and then ruin your whole fucking life. And like she had something going going so good for her. I call her daddy. And now like, I'm sure she's getting good money doing her own podcast as well. But like. I don't know, it just makes it weird for us who are the listeners. Like, when I was listening to Call Her Daddy and we found out that Sophia's not going to be on the podcast anymore, like, I was bothered by it. I'm like, how the hell is Alex going to do this on her own? And by the way, Alex has been killing it on her own. But, you know, it's just, like, weird. Just weird. But now it's, like, the best thing that ever happened for the show because Alex is doing really awesome by herself. So, yeah, that was, that was just a little bit of what I wanted to talk about. Um, I wanted to also see if I had eyeliner in my makeup bag because who's that I lost the photos um I didn't have any eyeliner in my in my travel bag with me and I don't think I have any in here please no no I don't I just have a bunch of lip glosses lotion sharpener pair of panties <laughs> never know when you need a pair of panties and yeah so anyway, I'm just gonna see. I probably should clean my car. And the I bought a vacuum from on Amazon. It was 40 bucks, but I got it on sale for like 20. So I want to see actually how it works. And it came with all these cool pieces and stuff. You connect it into your car. It's a long ass wire. I got about 10 minutes. Might as well do something productive. Look how long this wire is. All right, I'm gonna keep cleaning. It's looking great in here already, though. I got about six more minutes. So for the most part, this thing picked up a lot of garbage. This thing is bomb. Definitely a great vacuum for the car. I'm not trying to look for any other places where I can vacuum because this thing is awesome. Okay, so I'm done. I still got a couple more minutes so I can pack my little, so it comes with a little traveling case and it also comes with like a little brush to clean the filter off. And it also gave me a spare one too, which is awesome. Okay. Time to go inside now.